Well, there's nothing we can really do about spies and the shit, except for try and find them. Yeah. That might be a little hard. Perhaps we should duck out of the mercenary ship before our intended destination and not tell anyone. If we could arrange for another ship to pick us up or to make landfall somewhere else, maybe that'd be good. I don't know. This is things we can think about later, but I don't think we can... We can't take any other ship, so... We might have another ship you can take. Yeah, you have in mind. So yesterday when I was divining a series of people, Parar, Siemens, my main objective was to find my ancestors. I, I didn't know which one would be alive at this age. Uh, I was just trying out names and personalities I, I remembered from, from the past. And um, I found one one guy. Uh, he, he was on the seas, on a ship. And, uh, Near here? Yeah, it's actually on the way to our destination. Um, I look at Sila. She, she uh, I talked to Sila about this the other day. <clears throat> she she proposed I came up to the party to ask to meet this guy. I wasn't really gonna do it. Uh, as much as I, I'd like to meet him, I would not deter our mission for that because I don't think that right now. Uh, we as a party have anything to gain with that. But uh, seeing as this new thing's developed, uh, we might be able to catch a ride on his boat instead. Yeah. Well, if we can convince the captain to take us over there. Which so. might be a problem because uh, well, he's heading towards this place. And... Let's make it not a problem. <laughs> Okay. Just real quick, out of out of game. Wasn't the captain gonna stop at an island anyways on the way to Anilon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe okay. you could try something there as well. That you're not here for him. Yeah, no, I I didn't forget that. I just figured it was gonna come up when we were talking to him. You know, you, uh, so this is Ari. Uh, you know, you didn't uh, quite describe what happened too much. In, oh, actually, at a game, how much detail did you describe what happened with uh, Christine? Like, every detail or just like, yeah, her father hit her? <laughs> okay, no, that, is, that is kind of what she said. <laughs> no, no. Uh, I didn't actually mention that he hit her, which was the bitch slap. I said he kind of tortured her a lot. Oh, well, she she looks. I mentioned uh, that she, she like uh, he he beat her to near death and then a uh, cleric killed her. I, I did mention that the first time. Okay. And then uh, I'll mention it again to the other guys. Is it possible then if uh, we can track her down, and maybe her relationship with her father is bad enough to where she will simply tell us where these men on the ship are. Or that could be his plan to get one last use out of his daughter and then offer it to come back. It'd be a risk if we let her into our ranks. But perhaps a risk if we could win her over to our side in the end. But how how great is it going to feel to work with that uh, girl? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 
it's it's something that we could do. I don't even we don't even know if she's gonna even approach us or if we can find her anyways. It's true. It's a play it by hear situation, I think. That's what he's thinking about, I, man. But <clears throat> he's conflicted now. That's why he's pissed. <laughs> Trust me, I don't like this as much as you. No. For what she did to Sila and what the kingdom did to Sila is <laughs> something that is unforgivable. You guys continue uh, walking through the streets. Then you say, suddenly see Titus flying overhead. Hey, uh, guys! A, a a like a demonic. Of, yeah, yeah I was going to say with like fucking darkness him. just following me. <laughs> yeah. Every flap of his wings kills a little pigeon by the side. <laughs> Babies are dying. Yeah. And you guys get to the docks yeah. and uh, you see the ship in the distance. This large ship that you're supposed to board. Alright. We attempt to board. <laughs> <laughs> roll, roll your decks. <laughs> you trip, um, you fall. I was thinking more along the lines of them not letting Titus on and being like, Oh no, I just flew Titus? into the crow's nest. Are you just sitting up there? Yeah, I'm just really? sitting up there Did meditating. That? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I'd imagine Titus would do at this point. Fly into the crow's nest there. and then Fuck it. I mean if the crow's nest only fits one person, then I won't, but Alright, so sorry. You're a flying demon and you <laughs> decide to fly onto this military Fucking flying around and just jump into their crow's nest. They know what the fuck I who I am. Like no, they don't. Be fine. What are you talking about? We met with them How as a they... group, right? No. You're a glowing motherfucking demon okay. in the okay. air. Okay, fine. Try try to see something a hundred feet away from you, right? In the yeah. air, flying. Okay. Are you gonna be like, oh yeah, that's the dude that w that was in our yeah. office yesterday? Yeah, Cam. Do you remember when we met this guy? We'd like ask him the price, ask him how far he was going. It was very simple. At no point did you say, "Oh, I'm a half demon." By the way, <laughs> no, but his Sometimes his crew I get into bad moods. At least one one I person on the hour. crew. At least one person on the crew knows who we are, right? And he also went and watched I'm, the fights. Like, I'm sorry. Did you do this or no? I, I guess not. <laughs> Like they from know now on, if, if you do say an action, you do yeah. the action. No, yeah, but, uh, I, I was gonna, if you said, well, this shit happens to you, then I would have been like, okay. It wasn't like a, okay. oh, no, I'm I just gonna take it back. I want to clarify, but, because yeah, you guys you guys tend to do some crazy shit that is really weird. Um, well, I'd figure that they would at least people, know like, us, because we're bigger in the town. Right. So what was the other crazy weird shit that you said we were yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the uh, Rothcliffe at the fucking council sort of like back. Oh yeah, that was pretty. He's about crazy. to get arrested. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, trying try to push the line with the uh, with the deity as well. I was like, what the fuck. <laughs> He's about to get uh, roll your last breath type of thing. Anyways, um, you guys walk up. He does not fly onto the crow's nest. He does not get 17 arrows put into his chest. Do you hide your wings? I didn't hide them the first time we were on the ship. Okay, just curious. Yeah. Um, you guys approach the ship. After I started ship. flying around the arena, they've always been out. So. Yeah, that's that's absolutely fine. Uh, as you approach the ship, uh, a lot of the crew members um, <laughs> they're they're boarding like the last of the supplies, and so they have a bunch of. Uh, armed men around like uh, making sure that they don't get attacked by anyone and they seem to stand on guard as they see you approach glowing fucking frothing at the mouth this this demon they look you guys over and he, the, he one of the men looks at Arctur and points his sword towards uh, Titus and he says uh he wasn't like that the first time you came here what's wrong with him I look, I look back to Titus and I like at Rub this point, with, without even letting Arctor talk, I say, I'll be fine in an hour. Just, like, demonic fucking... I just hold my hand up to him. I look back and I say, uh, look, he, he gets in these moods sometimes when he's been fighting too much and uh, he went and did some battle in the arena earlier. He just 
he won't hurt anybody as long as he just has some quiet alone time to sit and think about how foolish he's been he'll be fine but uh, just yeah hit it'll be cool I'll, I'll I'll vouch for him I'll pay for any damage he does in this state I'll, we'll take care of him if something goes wrong uh, okay and he kind of like steps away warily keeping an eye on Titus yeah uh, you guys uh, proceed forth and uh, Leary grabs you by the the hand uh, Arctor um, kind of Pulling you aside for a moment as everyone goes up, and um, she pulls you to the side and she points back towards the building, and you see a kind of cloaked figure there. And she says, "Hey, uh, so that girl that they were talking about, it's over there, or she's over there. Why don't you bring it to your attention before?" Shit, that was quick. <laughs> Didn't waste yeah. any time getting her ass over here, now did she? Oh no. Well, th this happened like five hours ago, so she's. Oh, I guess they're still in the city. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to point out out of game that like. They would probably be joyous to have the Titan Slayers on their boat. Like the crew would be pumped up about it. I'm sure it's not a secret. Except, except they're a lot of badasses too. You see this? You see this boat? Yeah. Um, they're happy that you guys are there that they have two dragons. They're unhappy that you have an enemy of a kingdom and that they're most likely going to be attacked by a navy on this voyage. It's two-sided sword. You know, you guys run seven yeah. in an arena. Yeah, Otherwise, all sucks. their lives are in danger. Yeah. That probably sucks, but... So... Uh, you got this. I scratch, uh, my, I scratch my hand and look. So, well, she can't exactly follow us on a boat unless she gets one of her own. Think we're gonna have a stowaway? Fuck it, let's just mm. see what yeah, happens. This is only uh, arc tour. Yeah, me and Yeah. And she says, "Well, I pulled you aside. Uh, I know." Mm, she shrugs. Look, what do we want to do with her? Are we gonna do what Ari said, or? I think we'll just. I think we'll just see what she does, and not harm her if. She doesn't end up on board. We'll talk to her. Mm. Uh, she nods and she looks back. Um, the figure doesn't seem to be like uh, moving out at all. She she definitely saw you guys uh, board, but uh, she's making no motion to kind of like walk up. Yeah. So. Leary looks at you. Uh, well, your choice if you tell the others. Yeah, thanks. I know this was important to you, so I brought it to you before anyone else. And she smiles, and uh, she walks up the plank to the boat. All right. No fucking levers to carry horses onto this boat. No. We have oh, shit. shit. Is, it's is okay. Buttercup getting on the boat? Huh? Scooby can walk up the plank. Buttercup? What? I didn't hear Buttercup. what you said. Who wants Buttercup? Do they have? <laughs> Dude, oh my God! <laughs> just Do got... they have? Sorry. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Anyway, do they have space for Buttercup, my horse? Yeah, it's a humongous fucking boat. Okay, it's like yeah. a battleship. Badass. <laughs> Your up. turn to talk. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say he got so excited about fucking Buttercup. Dude, it's like I remember my horse. I have all these pets and shit. I forget about phrasing. Them. Like phrasing. There's heavy shit going Fra on, man. Phrasing. <laughs> phrasing. Okay. Phrasing. Uh, do you bring this to the group, Arctor? Um. So who's up on the deck? Because I know Titus. I, is I went like, straight fighter. to my quarters. I am fucking meditating the shit yeah. out of shit right now. Titus is gone. So it's Mitchell. Are, What's Rocco doing? Uh, I would probably be in my room contemplating the fact that I died. Yeah, are you gonna tell us about that? Nope. Okay. Not unless somebody asks. Right. Didn't I, you I mean, tell me though? Yeah, I point? told Titan.